Hey guys, Ivan here and this video we're gonna start with a physique update of Nick Walker about 20 weeks from the Mr. Olympia 2023 which he might very well win. I wouldn't be too surprised. I, I know probably the heavy favorites aside from of course the current Mr. Olympia champion Harry Japan are Derek Lansford who placed second in the Olympia and Samson Dauda who placed first who beat Nick Walker at the Arnold Classic. But I don't think Arnold Classic was Nick's best version. He went with conditioning, he went for streamlined physique, and he lost some fullness, especially in the legs. And I think that cost him that victory, that one spot where he placed below Dauda. So uh, I think Nick's best ever so far was Mr. Olympia 2022, where he really went with fullness. He was incredibly big. He wasn't super diced, but he was, but he was still very, very conditioned. And based on all the updates, all the photos and the videos, all the interviews so far after the Arnold Classic, I'm pretty sure Nick realized that he needs to play the size game, which is his own game, and he's not gonna make the same mistake uh, that he made for the Arnold, you know, going for more streamlined look, more conditioned look. I think it was a lesson learned for him, and I don't think he's gonna repeat that. I mean, based on uh, all the descriptions of all his posts, he is going with mass, with freak factor, with fullness, and you can see it clearly. So right here, he's about, once again, 20 weeks out, 20-ish, and uh, the caption here says, apply pressure. So what does that mean? That probably means that his prep started. What does that mean, his prep started? I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that he started dieting down, you know, carving out, cutting. I don't think that's necessarily the case, because he's very, very lean. He really maintained really good conditioning in the offseason, however, he grew. He grew a ton. He looks more massive than ever. How could he have accomplished that? Did he clean out after the show? Absolutely not. There is no way that he has done that. He continued pushing things. And now he's applying pressure, which means probably taking more hardeners, you know, taking more harsh stuff that's gonna make him peak for the show, for the Olympia. So there is no time to lose for Nick Walker, he's going crazy, he's going hard, it's now or never basically, I mean he is a young guy, he's only 28, 29 right now, so he still has a long time, you know, to, to, to be in this sport, to dominate, but you know, he wants it all and he wants it now, and can he win the Olympia? In my opinion, absolutely yes, once again, if he brings that crazy fullness, crazy freak factor, and the other guys go for like, you know, more conditioned, more streamlined look, like Samson, like like Derek, Hadi is maybe like somewhere in between, he has some freaky body parts, and he has some aesthetic poses, like uh, he has a good vacuum in the front double, stuff like that, but he's a bit blocky, and uh, like he's not super blocky and super freaky like Nick, so he's somewhere in between, but uh, yeah, like any of these four guys can win the Olympia, and I think that's it. I don't think there are any many other contenders for the title. I think those four guys are up there. And can Nick beat all of them? Well, once again, if he brings crazy, crazy freak factor, if he comes in bigger than ever, like much bigger than ever, much fuller than ever, with decent conditioning like the other guys are bringing, maybe it's going to blow judges' minds and they're going to have to give, give him the victory. It's a possibility. Would I love, would I love to see that happen? Because of Nick's personality, which is definitely my favorite out of those four guys, yeah, but as far as physique, I would prefer somebody like Samson. Like, I really like Derek's physique, but he's too short, if you ask me, you know, to be the Mr. Olympia. Uh, Nick is also a bit short, but I guess he can get away with it because he's so freaking, so freaking freaky, so massive. But, like, physique-wise, I would still have to pick Samson, if he deserves it, if he, if he actually brings good conditioning and he improves on his physique a little bit, if he actually beats these guys, that's probably what I would like to see the most, because of his genetics, because of his shape, his structure, but, again, do I see Nick Walker winning it potentially? I think it absolutely is a possibility, I can see that happen. Do you guys think Nick Walker can become the best bodybuilder in the world this year? And do you guys think that this guy right here, this Hungarian, Laszlo Kirali, can become the Mr. Olympia champion in classic physique? 
Can he overtake Chris Bumstead? I mean, I just might be hyping the guy up for no reason. We still haven't really seen him next to the top classic physique pros, Olympians. Uh, but based on what I'm seeing in these physique updates, he looks phenomenal. Like, one of the more impressive V-tapers. Uh, the, the shape, simply, of the, of the chest, of the lats, uh, you know, small waist with those arms, just overall structure, uh, how everything flows, this guy looks like something, and you might remember him from 2019, I remember making a video about him and saying that he's gonna become the next big thing in classic physique, uh, this was his 2019 version, and he looked amazing here, he was super peeled, uh, he still had that crazy V taper, crazy shape, crazy muscle bellies, but he was a little bit smaller than he is today, so he definitely made progress, he grew, and uh, again, like, he's not, you know, just a gym bodybuilder or somebody that looks good under certain lighting, certain angles, he actually is a good stage bodybuilder. He has pretty much all the tools necessary to be one of the more dominant classic VZ guys, like, you can't really find too many flaws you might say that he could use a little bit bigger, fuller legs, but he is tall and like he has a good vacuum, he has a really small waist, he has you know very detailed and developed abs, like uh, arms, chest, shoulders, back, we taper, classic lines, aesthetics, everything is there really. Uh, we'll see what he's gonna look on stage, but based on this video that Patrick Tour, his coach, posted a day before Sheru Classic. I mean, he looks amazing, he looks like he's gonna do some damage. After his controversial loss at Toronto Pro, Hassan Mustafa just posted this new physique update, uh, 10 days out of Orlando Pro, as you can see in the caption, and this is his physique right now. Now, the question is really, did he progress in terms of conditioning, which was the sole issue, the reason why he lost that show. If he was in shape, he would have probably beaten Ian Valier but he was, you know, not in shape, and now, at 10 days out of Orlando, is he in shape? Well, again, he's 10 days out, he's not really supposed to be super dry, he still has enough time to dry out, you know, to lose maybe some, some extra body weight, body fat, sorry, uh, but, uh, like, do I see him bringing something crazy, something new, something special to the stage? I don't think I can see that happening. His coach is Chad Nichols. And based on his results in, in, in recent history, it seems like he's losing his touch, like he's not really making those uh, crazy peaks like he used to make with Flex Wheeler, with Ronnie Coleman, with Nasser El Sambari, uh, I would even say uh, Big Ramy in 2020 and 2021. Uh, lately, he has been failing with Big Ramy, with William Bonek, with Hassan, uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I can't really trust Chad Nichols to bring some crazy level of conditioning uh, with Hassan Mostafa for that Orlando Pro. I think Hassan leaving AJ Sims and uh, going to Chad was a mistake. I mean, I don't know how much he suffered train actually doing all the protocols with AJ Sims. Whatever it took, you know, for him to get shredded, I don't know what they did, maybe it was too hard on Hassan. Maybe he sacrificed his health too much and he doesn't want to do that. So there's a whole bunch of reasons why he may have changed that coach. Maybe they didn't really jive uh, personality-wise. Who knows? But uh, yeah, like as far as getting the job done, AJ Sims really brought Hassan in good conditioning and uh, he won two pro shows. Is he going to be able to win pro shows now with Chad Nichols? Well, I don't know who is really doing Orlando Pro. Uh, other than Hassan, as far as the top, top pros, so maybe he is actually gonna get that victory, it's not impossible, once again, do I see crazy improvements, well, I shouldn't be able to see them at 10 days out, he should be very watery at this point, so if this is his watery look and he gets 20% sharper for the show, then yeah, it's gonna be an improvement conditioning wise, but if not, and I don't know if he's gonna be able to peak really well, if not, then like, if I was a batting man, I would say that he is going to look the same that he looked for Toronto. But I believe the competition is going to be weaker, so he might pull a win and qualify for the Olympia. Is Sergio Oliva coming? Is he doing Orlando? I'm not sure what his exact plans are, but he did post this physique update. 
in which he looks super, super flat. Like, especially through the chest. Like, he looks like he never had a carb in his life. He looks really, really flat through the, she through the chest, through the shoulders, through the arms, through the lats. His legs look decently big and full. They are also a little bit flat, but not as much. He has really big, really dense, really massive legs, so they won't really go... You won't really notice if they are uh, depleted, if they are flat, but upper body, you can definitely see it. Now, when you look at Sergio standing there alone, you would say, there is no way this guy is basically even a pro, let alone winning pro shows, but it's definitely a much different story when he's on that stage. Anyways, he went back to Dubai for whatever reason. He says he's back in Dubai, so it's time to get back to work. And so basically, it means that he just got back to Dubai, where he lives. So it's been a, a while, you know, it's been a little bit too long since he came to US and now that he's going back and he says it's time to get back to work what the hell does that mean did he just take a vacation while he was in the US uh, you know was he just resting from everything not really training hard not really doing much if that's the case then you know I can't expect him to improve much for Orlando or whichever show he's doing, he's probably gonna just look the same like he did at last show, and is that gonna be enough for him to win a pro show? Well, if nobody else shows up, you know, from the top guys, maybe, but, like, based on this physique update, he's gonna be lucky if he looks the same. I don't even know why he posted this photo, he, it doesn't look very good. Like, the only thing that looks good here is the waistline, he looks like he has a really small waist, but that sums it up that's pretty much it you know he, he looks like he didn't eat for all that time he stayed in the us you know he pr he actually probably didn't you know he, if he says he's back to work only now and we all know that in order for him to maintain all that muscle mass he needs to eat a ton of food like a lot of calories so he probably felt good you know taking a break from eating and you can see it in his physique i don't think he lost any muscle but he definitely deflated uh, he probably lost a lot of glycogen and water and he doesn't look very good right now but we'll see what he's gonna look like in the next show he does tell me what you guys think is he gonna come back is he gonna win a pro show and qualify for the olympia whatever your thoughts are guys let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want to support me in this channel you can do that by clicking on the link down below in the description of this video and trying any of the old school lab supplements i'm telling you guys they are the best quality supplements on the market right now. You can't really make a mistake. But if you don't like their products, you can just get, give it back and get your money back. And if you want a discount, you can just use the code EVAN, which will also help me out. So if you guys want to support me once again, just use the code EVAN and buy any of those club supplements. Thank you guys so much. All the best and bye-bye.